guys, it's Bricks here. Today we're going to be talking about the Blunderbuss, which is one of three new weapons that just came out a couple days ago. And before we get started, I have to do my own corn because that triple kill at the start of the video was insane in the membrane. I mean, as soon as I hit that, I stood up and the tensils in my sphincter, I could actually feel my asshole tighten up to a pressure where I personally believe I could have turned charcoal into diamonds it was absolutely insane which now my room's a little messy because whenever I play Call of Duty now I have charcoal suppositories up my butt because I could make a serious living out of this so maybe that's something you guys should take into consideration by sticking up some dirty old pieces of dirt up your butt because let's be honest here this is this is this is the real shit when I first got the blunderbuss, I woke up the day of the new guns came out, and I went against everything I believed in, and I bought an advanced supply drop. I bought one of them. My first one, and I'll probably never do it again, but I saw this blunderbuss, and I didn't, I didn't know if it was a gun or if it was a trumpet you ran around the battlefield with just to annoy people, but either way, I was intrigued, and... So I woke up and I bought one supply drop for one ninety nine, which, eventually, which was a good idea because I opened it and boom, there it was, the blunderbuss, uh, musketeer professional variant. And I was very satisfied because I didn't want to waste that one ninety nine. That one ninety nine is about three months of me making videos, so it's very, very tight income for me. But luckily, it paid off. So anyways, I open it up, there's the blunderbuss, and I bring it into war with me, and I'm feeling enraged, I got this big, I still wasn't too sure what this thing was at first, like I said, I thought it was a musical instrument, but I did some research, and it turns out that if you type in blunderbuss on Google, um, it tells you what a blunderbuss is, and it's basically Zeus's asshole, that's, that's what it's modeled after, it's a identical sculpture of Zeus's asshole powered by well I mean it's his ass it's obviously powered by his farts so I was pretty pretty hyped at that point I was like damn this is really cool I never thought they'd put this in the game so here I am running storming into battle with Zeus's undercarriage and I'm using it and I'm coming to the realization that this gun's pretty shitty I mean not just pretty shitty like really really shitty and I thought to myself, I did the math and the equations that were revolving in my brain, and I, I did the math. It was on a one, on a scale from one to, uh, this gun sucks dick. We were sitting at about, like, a Ross Matthews, and that's saying a lot. If you don't know who Ross Matthews is, because you probably don't, you should YouTube him. I mean, I'm not being judge or, judgmental or anything, but all I'm saying is Ross Matthews could probably suck the crime out of Detroit if he really wanted to that's that I'm saying this gun sucks a lot of cock so at this point I'm like hey time to trade in my Xbox for a PS4 and play some MLB the show but then I smartened up and I realized hey I'm 18 and I should give things a fair trial before I knock them and so I did and I played it a little more and this gun still sucks but it's usable and it's pretty satisfying it's one of those guns that you're not gonna see around a lot you just see it a lot now because it's new and people are getting it and they want to hold uh, Zeus's uh, rectum between their fingers you know what I'm saying but in due time you're not gonna see this gun around a lot and when you do and if you're the one using it or if you're getting killed by it it's just really awesome because this gun is or this thing is just so satisfying to get a kill with because it sucks and it takes about five seconds to reload so it's really hard to even maintain a positive KD ratio because in advanced warfare it's so fast paced and there's people everywhere that once you fire off that this gun and you pop up on the radar everyone comes swarming you and you don't have time to knock them off because you gotta He's like, jack I'm, this I'm thing off for five stutter, seconds man. just to get a damn like, reload in. So I guess that's the moral of the story is if you're one of those people like, and uh, chances are you are and you don't have this gun yet good. unless you spent $40 on Whatever supply drops something. in which case you're an idiot and in which case you <laughs> probably don't, don't understand ever. what I'm talking about because you don't know English or any language for that matter because you're brain dead. 
If you don't have this gun right now, don't feel too bad. I know it's awesome, and when you use this gun and you get kills with it, it's, yeah. you know, the females, all the girls out there really dig it. You know, when I get kills with this gun, I can just feel the warmth excreting from the females because, hey, you know what? Girls like a guy that can shoot a really shitty gun and do good with it. So don't feel bad if you don't have this gun yet. If you do have this gun, don't write it off so quickly. Knows what it Play is with it. Learn how to use it. This gun is viable. Right now, if I if I went on Advanced Warf right now, I think yeah. I could probably get uh, three... I, my record's four. I think I could get about three... Uh, what are they called? Chem strikes? <laughs> DNA bombs, yeah. I'd probably get three DNA bombs easily within my first match if I use this gun now. So just, it's the learning curve is really steep with this thing. It's really shitty, but don't expect a buff for this gun or anything. And it is usable, so that's all I got to say about this gun. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take your ass for weenie ride. Spread your cheeks and swallow your pride. It's scary like a roller coaster. It will stretch you out so wide.